Niners at Seahawks. Divisional matchup in the NFC West. Look at here, San Francisco minus three. We are now up to three and a half. Um, this total also has gone up about two points uh, from an opening of 47 and a half. Of course, Seahawks lost to the Giants on Sunday outright as a seven-point home favorite. Wolf. Um, and I mentioned this to uh, you guys yesterday. Teams now 0-4 straight up in ATS the week after facing the Lions. So um, the Seahawks, of course, faced the Lions two weeks ago. They come back. They lose to the Giants uh, outright as a favorite. Niners didn't really show well either. Blew a 23-10 lead to Arizona. Impressive stuff by Arizona's defense in the second half, shutting out San Francisco. Um, it looks like, Chris, you're actually doubling down, actually tripling down on this game. Side total and a teaser. Please, sir. Talk to us about Seattle. Yeah, you might as well start off the week with some money in my pocket, is my theory. But uh, I, I mentioned last week that San Francisco, on my ratings, was really middle of the pack. And I think they kind of showed that against Arizona. Uh, what's really surprising this week, I found it very comical. San Francisco and Seattle are right next to each other in my ratings, offensively defensively and overall. So uh, if they're right next to each other, I don't think San Francisco belongs laying points on the road uh, in this situation. So uh, I think the uh, the three points, uh, is it three and a half? What a gift. Jesus. Yeah, three and a half right now. I, 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 I do not understand it. Um, it's only one game, but boy, that just looks really juicy. I, I'd, I'd like to meet somebody laying three and a half. I, I would just like to hear the logic on that one because uh, I cannot relate to that. I, I just think that these two teams are a lot more similar than people realize. Uh, San Francisco's defense is not that good, uh, and we know Seattle's isn't that good. They, they're they're going. I, they should be able to stay tight. It's a short week. Seattle at home. San Francisco has to travel, and I just see these teams as equal. You have to take the points. So, um, in the divisional matchup, though, coming off of losses, I think that they're going to be a little bit uh, more deliberate. Uh, uh, they don't want things to get out of hand, uh, so to speak. Uh, I like the under in this game. I think it could be uh, just a little bit more deliberate just because things got away from things just just did not go well for them uh, last week. And uh, uh, Seattle doesn't want a repeat of what happened in Detroit where they're just allowing a team to score. So I believe that they're going to try to elongate plays and try to keep the game uh, running, so to speak. And I, so obviously I like Seattle plus the three and a half. I like the under 49. And I have to give at least one teaser out. So I created a teaser that I really like. I'm going to use Seattle plus the 13 and a half. Because I actually have three games with the BetUS protect, teaser protection lines that I can use this week. So uh, Seattle plus three and a half will be my first teaser leg. A 10 point teaser. And I lean to Seattle plus the three and a half. I almost got there. But you know what? I like props in this game. So I want to talk a little props with Seattle. So Seattle um, just lost to the Giants, ran the ball less than 10 times. They're getting roundly criticized for that. They lost to Detroit where they got behind game script and they had to just throw, throw, throw. So I, I think this is a slam dunk. I think we're going to see a Seattle team that's going to establish the run, that's going to get the ball to Kenneth Walker. I personally bet Walker over 55 and over 57 rush yards. It's up to around 60. I still would look that way. But if Walker's getting a whole lot of carries, that 49er defense is compromised with injuries, especially one of the run stuffers is out. So I think that Seattle, if they're attacking that weakness, they won't be throwing as much. And Geno Smith has elevated numbers because of the script in that Detroit game. And so uh, my play in this game, I'm going to go Geno Smith under 251 and a half pass yards. I did want to mention when Seattle beat New England, they pounded the, in that game. You saw they barely um, ran the ball in the game, but that's because Kenneth Walker was out. So Charbonnet was the lead back, and he's not nearly as good. So that made sense why they didn't run the ball. So a lot of running by Seattle. I think Chris is the right side. I almost got there with Seattle, but I'm on Geno Smith for my play under the 251 pass yards. Yeah, in the chat, I'm seeing a lot of Kittle. I'm seeing a lot of Kenneth Walker props for this game. 
Um, does look like we had a, a, a prominent group give out the over, and that's why you saw this total tick up. But I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat really like the under. Um, and to your point, Fez, Fred Warner likely is going to play through the ankle injury, but two out of the other three linebackers for San Francisco will miss this game. Um, Hafunga is also still missing time with the wrist injury. Seattle's been banged up too. It's mostly on the defensive side. Reek Woolen, their best corner. Um, and a couple of their linebackers also dealing with some injuries as well. But Seattle is the healthier team in this game, according to our sports injury uh, central score, which is in the high 80s. San Francisco in the low 80s. Of course, no CMC. Kittle expected to play through the ribs injury. But the linebacking group, as we mentioned, is the big trouble spot for San Francisco. So Chris is going to take the under 49, and he's going to go with Seattle, not only straight up, but also in a teaser of the 10-point variety. And Fez, I did hear some chatter on that Geno Smith under Fez. I'm guessing that number is going to crash down from 251.5 at some point um, before Thursday. So if you do like Fez's prop, uh, Geno Smith under 251.5 passing yards, I would get that now. Uh, Niners have won the last five matchups, uh, covering in four of them. One of them was a playoff game. So they've had the better of this divisional rivalry, but maybe a little uh, too heavy of a number at home. Um, as San Francisco goes on the road on a short week. All right, let's move.